vintage neighbors welcome to the vintage girl next door my name is Lacey and today's video I am very excited if you watched my last video you know that I have a new house and I'm so excited to show it to you but first I thought before we go through my new house we ought to remember and reflect on my old vintage home there were still some of the rooms that I never showed you guys. So that is what we're doing today. We're gonna do a final goodbye to my first 50s vintage home and do a little walkthrough of all the rooms. I wanted to make sure and film that for memory and also to share with my vintage neighbors before we moved out. And if you missed that last video, I'll make sure and link it so that you can get caught up on what's been going on in my world and our purchase of our new home and all of those things. So check that out if you have not already done so. This is just a walkthrough of my upstairs, my basement at my old house. We did some renovations on and kind of got it ready after we had already moved our things out. And so that is not included on this, but also it was not decorated or like styled vintage or finished in that way. And so I feel like the upstairs is really kind of where the vintage vibes were the strongest. And so that's what we're gonna do. We'll take a look and walk through my first vintage 1950s home. Let's go. Figured we'd start at the beginning, which is outside. I love the red bricks. I love the rounded porch and the glass brick windows. So let us head inside. First up, there is a little coat closet on the right, and then we are entering in to my living room. And there's some kitties to welcome us home. <laughs> Mr. Doc Emmett Brown and Mr. Johnny Cash, just out of sight there. And as you will hear a lot, most even of my things are thrifted or yard sale, or those kind of things. Um, some things are, are gifts or from reproduction stores. So my couch and chairs are from um, Wayfair, actually. And I love the color of them. So I'm just gonna give you just a little quick glance around the front room and then we'll hit on some of the details. I love the room divider in this. This house has so many really cute built-in features that I love. And the wood burning stove fireplace. So over here we have a Starburst clock that was given to me by a friend and then the mirrors, Starburst mirrors are reproduction. There's another view of that couch and the curtains as well are from Wayfair as well as the rug that Mr. Johnny Cash is currently on looking for crumbs or something he's not supposed to eat. Uh, this is my grandfather clock. I inherited it from my grandparents and that was a gift to them from their children in 1975. And this is my favorite lamp. It has the very cool um, fire, look, like the little light bulbs that look like fire, and some Disney plates, and then that paint by numbers I found at a Goodwill for $10. And so this is my credenza, and it's a Broyhill Brasilia piece from early 1960s. And my record player is a reproduction. I actually will be able to link that for you. Uh, I got it on Amazon. And then over here in the corner is my tension pole light. I thrifted that and really cute built-in bookcase and my atomic shadow box I found on Facebook marketplace. Actually, it was very surprising. It was just right here in my hometown. <laughs> Went and picked it up. Amazing. And then as you can see, the living room kind of opens up into the dining room and then through that way is the kitchen 
these light fixtures are very cool. I also got them on Amazon, so I can link those for you in the description. And this is that room divider I was talking about. I love it. It's so cute. The little shelves are just the perfect place to put all the ceramic kitties. And I have a few birds at the top there as well. And pretty much all of those are either gifts or thrifted. And over here is my record player. I also, that is also thrifted. And then the wall sconces were a gift as well as the clock. I'll show you the inside of my hi-fi stereo. It's a Voice of Music brand. It was a super lucky thrift find and it works perfectly. And this is a hutch. It was given to me by my old across the street neighbor. And she was moving and didn't want it, but she had had it since, since the fifties. So that was amazing. And my little Pyrex display, I've got some winter colors going on in there right now. Some turquoise and some red. And this is that glass brick window. You can see from the outside on the front of the house, I've got some plants in there and then straight through that dining room into the kitchen. And there's my 1950s Kelvinator stove. I love that stove so much, you guys. It is just everything that you would want in a vintage stove. <laughs> it works great. It looks like classic 1950s style. And then also my refrigerator is a cold spot, 1950s cold spot. And my microwave I got on Amazon. I can link that for you. They have a few different colors as well. So pretty cute. And the top of my kitchen is all my copper molds. And this is 50s blender. I think 50s or early 60s blender that was actually a gift um, from an unknown. Just it was left at my work for me. So that was super nice. And these canisters I've had for quite a while. Found them on Etsy and the ice crusher as well. And then I was just showing you the little light on the stove turns on and it looks magical. And this is my dining room, little cute yellow Formica table, and I've got some urchins and some little wall sconces. Those are all a reproduction. And then my stretched glass, I thrifted both of those pieces as well as the napkin holder salt and pepper shaker combo. And from the living room, you go through this little side hall, there's a, a hall closet, and then I have my cute painting. It's like the last day of school, kids getting out of school, and it always makes me happy. There's a little view of the pink bathroom, but something unique in this little hallway is the phone nook. So I've got my rotary phone in the, in the phone nook, and then that cool clock and those pieces I got at an antique store that they belong to the owner, and she got them for her wedding. So I'm just showing you these cool built-ins in the hallway and we're headed in to the pink bathroom. Mr. Cash is waiting for us and he's so big. He takes up the whole counter. <laughs> he's modeling it for you. So I love this pink tile. It is classic 1950s. You just can't, there's no, there's no better than that. And then on the wall in the bathroom, I have my lady head vase collection and some cute little fishes. I've got the pink scale and pink hamper and then those towels with the chenille, looks like chenille on them. And my fish I found on Etsy, some of them, and then some of them were a gift from one of my sweet friends. This is another of the built-in amazing features of the 50s. We have the Paul Mac toothbrush holder and soap dish. And then I thrifted that little towel shell thing. It was new in the box. And then that mermaid was sent to me by a lovely subscriber. And then those other mermaids over there were, are stickers. And some more little fishes. And then my shower curtain and my window curtain I made. I ordered the material and then just sewed them myself because I wanted <laughs> to match. 
And then these are cute little vinyl Starburst decals. So then right next to the bathroom is the master bedroom. So my bed cover, I thrifted. I got it in an estate sale. And then I believe I got my round pillows from Target. There is Dr. Emmett Brown holding down the fort in the bedroom. And I love the happy yellow color of the walls in here. It just does make me happy. And this Starburst clock was given to me by a lovely subscriber. And then also I made these curtains as well. Just ordered the fabric, found some that I liked, and then just ordered it and made them myself. And my bedroom set is that same Broyhill Brasilia. You can see the end table and the headboard and the mirror and then the dresser as well. And all of those were thrifted. I found them at a yard sale. Could not believe my luck and i have all my hats hanging on the wall <laughs> and then the double closet there's the mirror that goes with the Broyhill set and my lamps i got on facebook marketplace from a cute girl that lives here in town and then my this is only one of my three brooch boards <laughs> Um, but I do have a, an old video on how I made those brooch boards that I can link for you. And my shoe rack. And then cute little shadow box. My lamps, I love that it's, the, it's ballerinas. There's the woman ballerina and then the man on the other side. <laughs> And there's that Starburst clock I was talking about. Unfortunately, I do not have the key, so I can't find it, <laughs> but still looks really cool. And then some cute little Atomic Kitty art, as well as my shadow box containing the Atomic Kitties and a little swung glass vase. Some of those are salt and pepper shakers, and then some of them are standalone, and then I have one fancy poodle in there with all the kitties. <laughs> And then the ballerina chalkware that matches the theme of the lamps. And some things on top of it. I don't know if you saw that Lucite purse that used to belong to my grandma. So it's a special one to me. Also on the top of that dresser was a tin type, And that I got done at Viva this last year. And this is the light fixture in there. I thrifted this light cover. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed that little walkthrough of my original old 1950s home that house i still i love it so much it will always have a special place in my heart also that was my first home that i ever purchased and first home i got to decorate vintage and authentically the way that i wanted to do it and so it's always meant a lot to me will always mean a lot to me so thank you for following along this journey that we are on with our new home and new opportunities and things coming our ways. Just so exciting. And I'm so happy to have my vintage neighbors along with me for the ride. I always appreciate it. If you can give this video a thumbs up, it helps out my channel and leave me a comment. Let me know what is your favorite room in the old house. And I'm so excited to start showing you my new house and the different rooms and things and ways that I've decorated it and happy to have you along for the ride with that and I look forward to sharing all of that with you and if you are new to my channel and you feel like sticking around please subscribe we would love to have you join our vintage neighborhood for more of our vintage fun and I hope that wherever you are in the world, you are feeling safe and feeling loved. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.